homeless from the time I was about 15 until I was 22 or 23 years old. Ended up in San Francisco. This was way back, back in 83. Uh, in an area called the Tenderloin, which is a pretty rough part of the, the woods. But of course, being a punk from New York, nothing's rough, so. Um, but ended up uh, sleeping there. Uh, I actually thought California would be all warm and shit. You know, I didn't <laughs> sleep in the ocean. Uh, too many commercials. Uh, but, but ended up there, and, and, and an interesting thing happened. From the time I was 15 till the time I was 22 years old and ended up in the Tenderloin, I hadn't really felt like I was a part of a community. And at that point in time, in the early 80s, a lot of people and, and a lot of community organizations suddenly started finding people that they, that they was a part of, that was a part of their neighborhood, that suddenly were finding themselves without a place to go home to at night when the community organizations closed down. And it was St. Anthony's and it was Hospitality House, that's where I came up from, and there was other organizations, some that were like art studios, some that were religious-based groups, but they were all finding themselves with the same dilemma, no matter which population of poor people they were working with, and granted, this was a really poor neighborhood, but whether it was families or seniors or punks like me or whatever, all of a sudden there was all these people at 11 o'clock when the place is closed that were like, well, I got nowhere to go, man. And I got no money. Well, okay, you can crash here. And that's how what has now become a multi-billion dollar industry was created, was we're really compassionate, really responsible, really community-based response of, oh man, well you got nowhere to go? Okay, why don't you crash here tonight? And then tomorrow we'll all march down to City Hall and we'll change shit and we'll be able to get the housing restored so that you can get back. We'll stop the gentrification or we'll stop the cuts to afford, we'll do what we gotta do to get you back into a place to live because something's happening in our system that's wrong. 